I've got some my little title tells. How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are the Royals, I hold on. Get some lights on. Let's start over. Hey, what's up, my little title tells? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are the Royals, those little scallywags are at it again, y'all. What am I talking about? Do you know that Harry was set to take Tokyo? and Singapore by storm. And guess what? He's still going to do it. But do you know what these fools had the nerve to do? They removed him, his his royal highness titles from the website. Now, I knew they were going to do stunt queen antics. I knew they were going to try to find a way to steal their shine. But this is a whole new level of petting. And can I say it's also a whole new level on dumbness? Y'all, let's be real, right? cares about Harry's his royal highest titus. You cannot take away the fact that he is the son of Princess Diana. Whether or not he was a prince or not, which is cute, right? But who cares? In most countries outside of the UK, it doesn't matter. And for the people, it does matter. There's such a small portion of the world and population. This is what makes the royal family mad, right? For the royalists, and this is royalists in every country. There's even some in America, India, like it doesn't matter, right? People that are royalists, right? For some reason, they like licking boots, right? They like the taste of dirt on the bottom of boots. They lick the boots. They see the ho his royal highness title, HRH, and they're like, oh my God. So when it got removed, they were like, oh my God, did you hear? But here's the problem that Will and Kate, Charles and Camilla, and that whole establishment face. You are in a niche group. The level of people that really care about who got invited to the Queen's Jubilee, who walked outside, who did this, baby. I've seen more hype and better fashion at a Mission Impossible premiere on the, the street in West Hollywood than anything so they have been involved in. The royals just show up, do a photo op and leave. They don't give any money. Kate and William have proven that even when they have initiatives and funds, there are charities that they support go out of business. All they are do is like lip service and shaking. Maybe this was something big in 1960. Maybe this still ranks a little England. Maybe with the royalists, this ranks. But the problem is the percentage of people that are royalists out of the general population outside of the UK is 0.00001. I have a feeling in the UK, it's only maybe 30% of the people. Mind you, that gets probably if you're 80, that goes up to maybe 70%. But you feel what I'm saying. It's even a small, it's not the majority in the UK. And overseas, it's maybe 0 0.001 of the world's population. So maybe in that aspect, that little HRH removal, ooh, really got hairy, really hit, really humiliated, letting them know. They're not sanctioned by the royal family. But baby, do you realize that Harry is invited for being the son of Diana? Do you realize that Harry will always be someone because who his mama was? Do you realize that people actually like Harry and he became a celebrity even outside of being a prince? Yes, that's how we were introduced to him. But in most worlds that don't have kings, we don't understand how deep that is. It's almost like, oh, cool, you have a prince title. That means you got money, right? Oh, you don't? You're living in a little shack with a leaky room and you can't stand up straight. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my spare recap. I did a little book club on spare primer. What? You got holes in your shoes. You don't got any money. You got to depend on your daddy to give you an allowance of a couple hundred thousand a year. What? And on top of that, the media rips me apart. And on top of that, I got to deal with these racist mofos that are so like, you stand here, you stand here. That if I come out on any day and I look better than them or if the media likes the way I look in any way, then they will punish me. Because my job is literally to make them look better and to lay low so that they always feel superior to me. See, we don't know that's what involves being with royalty. I'm thinking, well, I grew up knowing royalty was the Princess Diaries. Go watch that movie. You don't know what I'm talking about. I thought that the Princess of Genovia, where everybody was warm hearted and you lived in splendor, but you still got to do what you want. It's basically your life, but better. You feel what I'm saying? Anyway. Right. So it's kind of like, and this is why they hate Harry and Meghan so much, because Harry and Meghan rank with the population in general. 
You can do all the you.gov, who, ha, 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 what polls you want. When you actually rank, right? What members of the royal family do you rank highest? And William comes out first, Kate comes out, whoever paid the most to these pollsters. What they really need to ask is, do you even follow the royal family? Do you care about the royal family? So maybe asking 10 people in the mall, um, excuse me, can we get your opinion um, on what you think of the royal family? And 10, 20 people being like, if you don't get that H out of my face, and maybe two people being like, yeah, I, I have time to be petty and vindictive. Maybe out of 20 people, they stopped only two people actually commented and out of those two people only you see what i'm saying it's all and that's why they're mad at harry and megan because they know they're playing in a little small fishbowl they're all trying to be whales in a teacup you know what i'm saying and harry and megan are they rank no matter where they go for good or bad and that's what makes them mad because the royals also know the power a very, if even bad press coverage. They know, again, they are D-listed celebrities that have no discernible talent that are born into celebrity by blood. Kate thought she lucked out and she was able to marry him, but all it did was strip her of her beauty, of her um, uh, 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 springy cheeks, and just bring up all the ugliness in her soul. Yo, let's get into this and how they thought they really did something. And of course, he's in Japan, for a charity event, and then he's going to Singapore. So they did this to ruin his Japan trip. Can you imagine having such little control over someone's life that you pull away that his royal highness title? Now, again, I'm sure this did hurt Harry. Harry, after all, is the son of the king. It'd be like somebody like, I don't know, being like, yeah, we're stripping Tisa the tell's last name, right? I get that. But again, this is how little control they have over Harry's life. I'll say one thing. Harry left. At, I'm about to get to the argument. I know I keep saying it, I'll say one thing. Harry left at the exact time that was correct. Because could you imagine these level of pettiness, having control over your life, where you get your money, what you eat, your kids' lives, your wife's life, and they're this petty? Anyway, they said Prince Harry's page on the royal family's website was just updated to remove references to his royal highness title. After Express reported on Friday that the Duke of Sussex was still being called His Royal Highness in his bio, the outlet noticed on Tuesday that the page had been updated to remove two references to the title. Oh no, you mean Harry's not a blood prince anymore? Oh, oh wait, he is? Oh no, you mean they erased Harry's legacy as Diana's son that is a living embodiment of her? Oh wait, no, that's still there? Oh, you mean the racist institution that he left a long time ago to save his life, his wife's life, and his kid's life? They don't want him to be? Oh, okay. And this is a gag. William, good luck on having the power your grandmama did when you take over. You were going to be relegated to being like how the European royals are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nobody cares. Anyway, right? Um, da -da 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 -da. Both references were tied to Harry's work in raising awareness about HIV AIDS in 2016. The title is now replaced with a Duke, the Duke or the Duke of Sussex, although he did not receive his dukedom from his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, until his May 2018 wedding. Again, the people that care about this are so... And the world that loves them is so big, 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 big. The Royals family website was not has not been completely updated following the death of the Queen. As Express pointed out last week, Queen Elizabeth was still referred to as the current monarch. King Charles was called the Prince of Wales, and Queen Camilla was still being styled as the Duchess of Cornwall. Buckingham Palace sent an express statement reported by in a statement reported by Express. The Royal family website contains over five thousand pages of information. Many of them have racial slurs in them. If you guys don't remember that from the Independent. About the life and work of the royal family, following the death of her late majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, content has been revised and updated periodically. Some content may be out of date until this process is complete. Um, here's the thing. Even when they're being petty, they show just what idiot amateur hours are. You mean to tell me that you guys have all that staff, billions of dollars, palaces and you guys can't figure out how to update your site in 24 to 48 hours you can't figure out how to pay someone to do that who you got one person working with like wax seals and figures etching it into the archives man 
they're such losers. I really honestly can't stand them. You guys, listen, Charles um, is now saying that he would never think of taking Harry and Meghan's titles away. But let's also not forget that Charles said when the, he is king, one of the first proclamations he changes will be making sure that Archie and Lilibeth don't get their titles until they're, they prove they want to be part of the royal family. Again, at the end of the day, who cares? Charles is going to be dead soon. He was always a trash father. Camilla was always the wicked stepmother. The only surprising and tragic thing about this is Harry thought William was really down for the cause, but we know now that William was always a trash brother. Harry was just blind, but now he can see. Anyway, my little title tells Sussex Squad, let me know what you think. You know they are going to be coming out acting a fool during Harry's charity visits. So we're going to get a little royal gossip this weekend. Let me know what y'all think. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.